Hey everybody, it's May 8th and it's my 37th video um, or day of walking, I should say. Um, I was browsing YouTube earlier um, and came across a really interesting um, YouTube channel. Um, there was a guy on there who is deaf, and, but he, I mean, he's got these big hearing aids that um, I guess attaches to the bone, and he's able to hear that way or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but um, he was born with a gold, I'm, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but golden heart syndrome. Um, it's G-O-L-D-E-N-H-A-R. It's, um, what, how it's spelled. But it's a type of, it makes, your face does not for, uh, fully, um, develop, um, when you're still in the womb. Um, it is a rare, um, thing. And... Um, so he's got that. He's got his own um, YouTube channel, and he uh, uh, does a whole bunch. He listens to music. He loves it. So he decided to do a YouTube channel where he's um, signed to different music or different songs, I should say. Um, and um, it's like. It's really cool. His name, if you ever want to check out his channel, is Andy Signs. Um, but it is pretty amazing. Um, so it's just one of those things that um, it's very inspirational to see something like that to see somebody who has something like that going on he was born with it um and to know that you know it's there and he's out there doing videos letting the world see him it is pretty amazing um and he's got like I think 26,000 subscribers, um, which is amazing. Um, I hope one day I can even get a quarter of that. Um, it would be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, it's pretty inspirational to see um, somebody with so much life in them. Even, you know, you know, it's just, you would think that sometimes that people who have um, that or have, you know, missing limbs or whatever, um, be out, you know, down on life and everything, but they actually are, they have more life in them than a person who has no physical or mental issues at all and the nor the normal the so-called normal people out there um are the ones that think that their um lives are so horrible there there's something wrong with you know they they're just you know something and it's like have you not seen a lot of the people out there that um who have missing limbs um one time a while back i saw somebody who had was born with no arms she has a kid and she was taking care of that kid with no arms she was she figures out how to 
um, somehow she uses her feet and her legs like she would with her own hands. And she does it a lot better than some people with the hands do. And it's like, you know, and yet people who have all four limbs and have, you know, absolutely nothing physically wrong with them or anything mentally wrong, yet they think that their life is over with just because they <laughs> had a bad hair day or something. And it's like, you know, you need a reality check. Um, cause there's people out there that, you know, have things going on in their lives that are, um, such, so, so much more, they have so much more going against them, yet, um, they are so much happier, and just, they live with things that, and deal with things that a lot of us can't even, um, fathom. I mean, it's, I mean, can you imagine, just take one day, just take, not, not even a day, take um, five minutes and try to do your normal everyday things without a hand or um, without your thumbs. You know, just try to do something without, or do something with one leg and see what it's like. I mean. It's been five minutes in somebody else's shoes. Um, and see what it'd be like. I mean, <laughs> and try to work around things um, that you normally take for granted. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, it's um, pretty amazing. I actually tried it one time with you know, to see what it would be like. Cause I saw somebody who had no thumbs and to see what it would be, be like to use my hands with no thumbs at all. It was kind of hard. I mean, I got, you know, I was able to do some things, but um, it was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, trying to opening things and picking up things without thumbs is a little bit more difficult um but <coughs> yeah it's amazing on how people get through everyday life when they have something going on I mean even though you can never see um the handicap, because not every handicapped is physical. You cannot, you know, there's a lot of handicaps out there that are on the inside. Um, <clears throat> I have, I can't remember the name of it, but I have an aunt whose spine um, is pretty much glued together. It's not really glue, but it, that's what it did to its own self. It wasn't her doing it. She's got some thing that happened to her spine where she cannot turn her head left or right. If she wants to look left or right, she has to twist her whole body over to turn, you know, to look. Um, because it was kind of like her joints and her spine melded together. Um, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, but yeah. I mean, you can't see it. You, you can't see it unless you have x-ray vision to see the spine itself. You have no clue. <clears throat> um, there's people who have mental issues. I mean, there's people, you know, like, I know somebody who has PTSD. Um, and, you know, they... <laughs> And, you know, it is very hard to get around t around PTSD. Um, you know, so 
you don't I know that you don't ever want to scare anybody who has PTSD you don't scare them at all um, no loud pops you know like you don't want to blow you know pop a balloon near them without them knowing um, or set of fireworks without them knowing that there's fireworks going off you don't want to do anything like that you don't want to make loud noises but yet you cannot see PTSD at all you can't see it same with autism I mean you you can tell that somebody's slightly off um, but because um, they act different so in a way that um, is something you can see but um, other than that I mean you it is an actual mental disability I mean you don't see any if it's anything related to any mental disability learning disorders stuff like that you have no clue um, so you know don't assume that um, that there's everything's okay with that one person. Um, one time when I was taking care of my aunt, um, she's the one who has a handicap sticker, and so and I took her, I drove her to the grocery store, so she was able to get out and stuff like that and do some shopping. And we parked in the handicapped parking spot. She started heading in while I was grabbing a couple of things from the car. Because um, she was able, she she didn't need help walking a little bit. So, I mean, unless she has a car, you know, she was using a cart, the shopping cart, to push. She was fine. And so I was grabbing the things. And when we got back out, there was a note left on the windshield because apparently somebody had seen us or seen me um leave the car itself and head inside but they did not somehow they did not see my aunt they just saw me running from the car trying to catch up with my aunt and they left a nasty note saying that I should, it's people like me that discuss her because the fact that I'm in a handicapped parking spot and I'm overweight and I should at least try to act handicapped. And I was like, you know, at, at first I was fairly upset, you know, because it was hurtful it was they didn't know the situation they didn't know me um they didn't know anything and instead of coming to me about it they had to be really dis disrespectful and rude and leave a note like that hurting somebody's feeling without knowing the whole story they all they saw was me lead the car that was parked in the handicapped parking spot. Um, and I just couldn't believe it, you know, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, if you just, I mean, I don't care if you're a Christian, Jewish, Wiccan, atheist, whatever you are, it's the golden rule. It applies to everybody. Do one to others as you want to do one to you. And you should, I mean, unless you want somebody to act like that to you, don't do it to them. I mean, um, you're supposed to help each other, not put everybody down because you saw part of the story, only half the story. Um, you know, it's, it's just, I just wish there was more people out there that would, you know, be put in that system, you know, had the tables turned and see what it would be like. Um, 
in somebody else's shoes for a little bit just so that way you know um you know it doesn't matter who the person is whether they are mentally challenged or um just helping somebody else out parking in a handy handy spot handicap spot because the passenger is handicapped or you love somebody who's completely different what you know that you're don't you know you don't think that that person should be loving that like uh, gays uh, you know the LGBTQ plus community or if somebody is in love with um, a completely different age you know if there's like a, a decent age gap or a different race you know it's you know how would you feel if somebody says to you that you you know that you shouldn't be doing something because of who you love or because of who you are you know it's just disrespectful I mean you should respect if you want somebody to respect you you need to show them respect too as well um, because if you're not going personally if you're not going to respect me why would I respect you in return um, if you're expecting me to, res to respect you, then, and but yet you're being really rude to me and being, putting me down, showing me no respect, talking down to me, then why would I tell you please and thank you? Why would I go out and just, um... I mean, I'm not going to do, I'll just walk away. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be all um, happy for you and everything if you're putting me down and telling me that whatever, you know, whether it's me loving somebody that you don't agree on or, you know, the way I'm living my life or how I do things. If you can't respect me for being me, then you're not worth getting to know and to me. I mean, I'm, you're just not worth it. I'd rather have somebody in my life that can respect every single part of me, accept who I am and love me for who I am than um, be with somebody that, um, can't um, respect my my choices, respect my wishes, my everything, um, and expect and accept me for who I am. Um, so you know, it's just I I want somebody who's around, who's positive, and who's not always being so negative. Um, and in all ways, I mean, I met. I want people who are positively. Um, I, I know that I get uh, my my friends. My I get two really really great friends, um, who's always been there, for, you know, since day one. Um, I also get family, so yeah, and I'm glad that I have them. But anyways, I went ahead and in the video here and go check out Andy's signs. Um, and check out some of his videos. They are pretty cool to watch. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and um, share this video. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye.